when you're like observing things in your head and like noticing stuff going on you can be like oh like i'm noticing like this like tension in my head or like oh this like thought like, i keep having this thought or, like oh there's like there's like a block like an energetic block like here it's like oh like how can i and then when you notice it it tends to just like sort of start dissolving or like something happens to it so like noticing something results in a change in you and just like purely noticing stuff like that's a way to get like all the way to the end of non-duality um but i think the interesting thing about noticing stuff is is that whenever you notice something it's in a space and it's like boundaried in a way it's like noticing something is noticing like the boundary around it because you're creating a boundary around it right if if something's separate then you're noticing its separateness um to notice anything it has to be separated and that's kind of an interesting little paradigm because like the act of noticing is in a sense constructing the separation between things because if you never noticed anything <laughs> then there would never be any separation at all so what you actually so i mean it seems so then you're like oh so like do i just never notice anything then well no but um looking at the noticing and seeing what the noticing is doing is an interesting and fun way to navigate your own mental space so instead of looking at what you're noticing look at how the noticing itself is operating and find what's going on there and i think what you'll find is like the boundaries that noticing creates may not be completely necessary and noticing itself may actually just be a duality uh you know noticing and non-noticing a duality is when two things co arise and they're not really real you know it's an unnecessary separation um yeah so i guess just have a little look at noticing things bye